Earlier this year, after a ballot of members, the Victorian branch of the ETU overwhelmingly voted to disaffiliate from the Australian Labor Party. The union became increasingly disappointed with Labor's failure to significantly change the Howard Work Choices legislation, with the retention of the ABCC, no right to organise, and a continued ban on pattern bargaining. The Australian Greens presented a much improved industrial relations platform that the union felt could truly benefit its members. I think the, ch the perception about the Greens and blue collar workers is changing. The Greens now are the only party to stand up for the rights of workers and I think more and more uh, people in the uh, construction industry for example understand that. When you look at our record, we have been the only one who, go, who went to the election last time seeking to abolish the Australian Building and Construction Commission. And we moved in the Senate to abolish the ABCC and Labor and Liberal voted to keep the ABCC. The seat of Melbourne had been held by the Labor Party for over 100 years. Adam Bant needed a swing of 4.5% to win the seat. He would become the first Greens candidate elected to the lower house. Richard Di Natale was hoping to be the first Victorian Greens senator. Despite the Greens' favourable stance on industrial relations, some ETU members had expressed concern about some of their environmental policies. One important question from our members. What is the Greens' position on guns? Ivan, we just want to make sure that shotguns get in the right hands. So we've got no problem with guns being used to, get, uh, to control vermin and pests. No problem with that at all. I live in the bush and you know, our neighbours occasionally shoot foxes and rabbits and uh, I've got no problem with that at all. Uh, one particular issue for our members is four-wheel drives. Um, in 1932 in Geelong, my great-uncle Lou Bant invented the ute. Um, there's a, we've got a bit of a family history in that and I'm pretty proud of it. It's a time and a place for vehicles like that and using them for work is completely appropriate. Um, the time and the place for them isn't to rack tractors picking the kids up from school. It's that excessive use that doesn't have any purpose that we have a concern about. In terms of um, fishing, I'm a keen fisherman. Um, but I want my young kid to be able to enjoy the same things I've enjoyed when I've gone fishing. At the moment there's about 5% of Australian waters that are um, protected and we're saying within that 5%, about a third of that should be a no-take zone. So no drilling for oil or gas and no fishing in that very, very small amount of Australian waters. That way we can all enjoy it long into the future. We've got to move away from coal to renewable energy, but we've got to do it in a way that looks after people and looks after jobs. My problem is with saying we leave everything up to the market and these multinational companies that run and own our power industry, they don't care about people, they don't care about jobs, they'll do whatever turns them a profit. What we've got to do is have a transition plan so that we can move from coal to renewables where there's going to be thousands of jobs in making, manufacturing and in running these new renewable energy power stations, but looking after people in a transition while they do it. Just days after Ivan spoke to the candidates, the ALP called the early election, and the Greens launched a campaign that focused on policies designed to bring Australia into the 21st century. The Greens have got the vision for this country, and more and more Australians see that, and now we're on the verge of making history. We are on the verge of something very, very special here tonight. We're uh, going to take a very quick look yeah. at the seat of Melbourne. 7.6% swing. We are giving this as a green gain. We have made history tonight! We've had some great support, not only from the volunteers and the staff, but from uh, unions who said, your values are our values. You support a fair workplace, and today their support has been vindicated. The union support was because it's in the interest of our members. You know, the Greens now having control of the Senate becomes really important. They can now have greater influence over getting rid of the ABCC, getting back human rights for workers, ILO conventions. For the first time in 40 years, the Australian people delivered a hung parliament showing that they were far from satisfied with the performance of either major party. The Greens signed a loose alliance with the Labor Party that will not compromise their commitments on industrial relations.
in the lead up to the campaign, to the election campaign, was very explicit about saying and said publicly, said we need to get rid of the ABCC. We maintain the platform that we went to the election with. We now need to sit down and work out how over the next couple of years, what's the best way of bringing that legislation back. What's important is that we deliver on the things that we have promised to deliver on, and that's the abolition of the ABCC, a fairer workplace, and more jobs in renewable energy. And if we can achieve those three things, then I think members of the ETU uh, will recognise that the decision that their state council made coming into this election was the right one. It's up to us to make sure that we prove them right.